right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. going on lovely beautiful hummingbirds and i am back with another reaction to queen sugar season three episode two <sighs> i love this show i don't know about y'all but i'm so happy it's back and i hope they don't do like they did this time go try to make a movie and go on a freaking year and a half long hiatus or however long it's been it may not have been that long but that's what it feels like it's been forever so anyway on this episode uh vise pies are a hit right now and they want to double her order which will increase her profits by 25 percent which she agreed to but I'm just concerned that she gonna overdo it. I just need her to kind of take it easy and let Hollywood take care of her and just stop pushing him away so much. Um, Remy finally called Charlie out on what she's doing with this whole Landry deal. He told her um, she just tricking her own people by turning around and giving the business to the Landrys because she sold Queen Sugar to the Landry's for 1% in shares because her people left Queen Sugar to go back to the Landry's. Okay, this situation is a little kind of iffy for me because the Landry's owns a lot of their land or their homes because they went and bought like all the deeds and stuff from the banks so they have to pay them for everything and it the landers kind of got these people by the balls i guess you could say either you form with me or i'm gonna pull the deed on your home or it's just everything is a catch 22 with the landers it's either you use my meal or something um they have tricked the people into thinking you know do y'all really want to trust all your crops with Charlie and Queen Sugar and she's new to this and you may lose money this way and the other but Remy's riding her about betraying her people but when they pulled their cane from her she lost money on everything she put in for the people trying to help them out so I I don't agree with her deal at the same time Remy doesn't look at everything in a whole because they abandoned Queen Sugar and Charlie, so she she's at a lose lose. She gonna lose either way. She gonna lose all her money she put in the, into the mill and all their respect. At the same time, if they trusted her, then they wouldn't have pulled the crop and they'd have rolled with her anyway. Then she wouldn't have to take that deal out with the Landry. So I mean, I don't even know. I just gotta keep watching this just to make sense of all of this because it could. I don't know. I, I, I'm I, at this point. I really do think the deal gonna kind of blow up in Charlie's face, and at the, some point the people gonna find out because they keep talking about it out loud in public. And at some point somebody gonna hear it. They don't have to nothing to shut up about it and talk about it behind closed doors. Anyway, Hollywood little money done came. His settlement done came. Vi said, "Honey, she ain't gonna live rich. She's still gonna keep living like she living." So. You know, we'll see. Hollywood said, no, nah, she needs some red bottoms. These is bloody. She, <laughs> she said she don't need all that. She going to be the same vibe she been being. She's not about to be bougie. But we'll see. So the police department finally got their paws on this harassment video with this old crooked cop that stopped Micah um, beating up everybody. The one that Charlie had, that old girl hooked her up with. Now that we, we know who hooked up with. Now that they got the video. We're going to see how this handled. So I wonder when she seen him episode one. If he remembered her. You, them the wish. I knew he, he probably. I just should have known he remembered her. He remembered her. 
He was just trying to play it out because he didn't want to turn up in front of his grandkids. That's so funny. You want to beat people and abuse people, but you don't want your grandkids to see what the real world about. You want to keep them sh uh, sheltered and whatnot and know you abusing black men and you don't want to see, uh, want them to see you get beat like them black men get beat. So you want to act like you such a good person or whatnot. Nova is thinking about quitting the job at the paper because they don't be doing right. They took her, art, her article about them kids that um, she was talking about how they were standing for justice and how good they was, how good it was that they stood up for the injustice of um, how people are treated um, by, you know, kneeling because it's for how people are getting treated by law enforcement or whatnot. They're going to take the article and turn around and try to say the kids with some troublemakers trying to start trouble at a basketball game. And that's not what she said at all. So, she kind of getting tired of getting slighted and kind of getting tired. I would be tired of it too. That's not... When you work hard on an article, and I've heard so many people say this in real life. When you work hard on an article and, you, and what you say is taken out of contest and taken and twisted around, you get tired of that. And... They manipulate it for, you know, viewership and to sell a paper. That's hard work and your name is on that. You get tired of that. Blue still running wild, being disrespectful, <laughs> talking back to his dad. I right, boy. In real life, he'd have been and got a spanking already in the South. See, they in the South and the South for real, you already been and got a spanking got your butt to up already so the fact that they just keep letting him talk to people however he talking to people is kind of really irking my nerves a little bit because we we know for real he wouldn't be allowed to be talking to people like that at least with how we grew up now how some of these old these new parents doing it they stupid i, don't, I ain't gonna call you people stupid but they don't they need to do more old school raising anyway so the house all dirty and messed up. Ralph Angel, parole officer, just going to drop in, which he said that's what parole officers do to make sure you you um, live and write and buy the code. So he all excited or whatnot because he can um, get Ralph Angel. We call it off papers in the real world. So he said he can get Ralph Angel off papers, like get him off parole and everything. And be done with it. You know, he free. He can do whatever. He don't have to be worried about no parole officer. No breaking the law. He can go work and be happy or whatever. But he want him to do this program where he hire other um, people um, out of jail like himself. And be a role model to them so they can see if rap, like people like Rap Angel come from where they come from. And if he doing it, they can do it. I personally feel like that's too much for Rap Angel. He barely making his himself. He's still trying to learn the ropes himself. And to be babysitting and be responsible for somebody else that's still iffy and you know what I'm saying? It's basically gonna be like he's gonna be babysitting somebody and I, he he got a lot of stuff going on right now with his situation with blue running around running wild and uh, running a muck and all out there and over the place. I just don't feel like he it's where he needs to be trying to see about some other grown folks right now. Now, I think it's a good good thing for him to do, but I think he needs to get situated, get, how do you say it, get his, his situation guaranteed and under control. He got to go down here, and, you know, figure out how he, he going to survive mid-season because he ain't making enough money to make it between forming seasons yet. And you want him to babysit somebody else and you don't know if they'll catch 22 a loose wire how their attitude gonna work you don't need somebody no bad attitude around his sisters and his son he did say they're non-violent crimes which that's good but yet and still you, you gotta make sure they get to work on time and he don't need to be dealing with that and white flies and the meal situation family drama that's just the last thing. So we'll see how this go. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So the next thing I think Charlie um going to see this uh what's his name? This is Jacob Landry. So I'm waiting.
waiting for some of the black farmers to see this whole situation with her and Jacob. She just being real bold, and I understand what she's trying to do. She is really just trying to get all the way up into this landing situation to learn really what they doing and to be all up in their business. But I think it's gonna blow up in her face because she all out being just disrespectful to me. When I just feel like it was disrespectful to Remy because you all up riding his, <laughs> and then now you all up in Jacob's face just openly out flirting, trying to get all in the know-how. And I'm going to be honest with you, they ain't going to never tell you all they business, Charlie. They ain't going to never let you all the way in. And I feel like they is vice versa. They using Charlie trying to keep up with what she doing to find out all her business. And ain't a, neither one of y'all going to tell the other one all y'all ins and outs. And it's that situation where you keep your enemies closer. That's what they doing and that's what Charlie's doing. And that's why I think ain't none of it going to work. Because everybody using everybody to be using everybody. And it's going to blow up in her doggone freaking face. That's just um, my opinion of it. So, I mean, something good did come from Charlie's deal. And that's allowing the, the black performers to keep a higher percentage. But I'm still with Remy on like what she doing and everything. And I still think that it's something about it is going to mess around and blow up in her face. So, Hollywood got his money. Vi acting up. She don't want to do, no, do nothing with it. I got something beeping. Y'all had to excuse me. Vi acting up. She don't want to she don't want to do nothing with it. So, um, he want to carry Blue out to get him some. So, Ralph Angel and them, they go out to carry Blue to get some. Y'all, why Blue up in this store acting like he don't have no home training or whatever? He going to mess around up in this store. He about to make Ralph Angel lose his dog on parole because he finna snatch him up off up in this store this boy up in here talking back and going on and act like he been abused up in this dog on store he really liked to piss me off in the store because at this point rap angel should have kept his cool and he did right getting the boy out of the store but he he shouldn't have let him um lose his uh what you call it how y'all say it? come on help me find the word let him, uh, I had the word right on the tip of my tongue. He shouldn't have let him, um, anyway, lose his cool and be back to snatch him up. Because you, the, the, the police officer, bruh, come on, you, bruh, bruh, come on, bruh. Man, you a brother. How you gonna even be front? Like, everything cool over there? Like, you... That little boy, I tell you what, he really pushing it. Like I said, he about to make Poe Rap Angel lose his little parole and all this shit because he over here acting a damn fool up in this store trying to buy every pair of shoes like we on lottery ticket. <laughs> like Bow Wow Neal was on lottery ticket and get all these, uh, get all these shoes. But anyway, Violet needs to uh, let Hollywood be a man and see about her. I, I, I think I already mentioned this because she irritated me pushing him away. She, she's sick. She weak. Him helping her and seeing about her does not make her any less of a woman. It don't make her be any weak or any more vulnerable. You been with the man how long? He been all up in your treats and your cookies. You ain't trying to have to prove nothing any different. I mean, she be making my head hurt is what she be doing because it don't even be that serious. She really be irritating me when she do that because she really don't have to be acting like that. So anyway, Michael finally gets to see this police officer um, video of him abusing somebody else and he's so disturbed by it like I I feel like it started giving him maybe like some flashbacks or whatever and kind of started upsetting him some and carrying him back to that place where you know what, what the man had did to him 
I agree with his daddy. <laughs> Davis already knew. He know how Charlie is. And first thing he asked, did she, was she the one that had the video leaked? And she was like, yes, blah, blah, blah. Of course I had it leaked. Um, he shouldn't get away. Like David said, Charlie do things without thinking about the reper repercussions of things. For every action, there's a reaction. And when she takes action, she don't think about the reactions. And she didn't think, like David said, did you think about Michael's in the video, how he may feel? You don't never think about something. But at the same time, Michael ain't a baby anymore. I am hate that he bothered by it, but the video video needed to get out. And this is the only way that some justice was going to be served. So it had to be done. So Davis, get over it. Michael is a big boy now. This is life. And he just has to go with the flow. Because sheltering him is why a lot of the stuff that's happening to him now is so hard. Because y'all have sheltered him for so long. Us in the real world, we have to deal with this stuff every day. And he's privileged and he's sheltered. Now, I hate that he had to relive that moment. But this is life. We have to relive bad stuff every day. And it's no different from anybody else just because you're rich. Now, uh, one thing I have to say is the fact, uh, one thing that Davis brought up, the fact that Charlie does stuff without thinking about the repercussions. And then when stuff happens, she wants to deal with it. That's why I'm worried about this whole deal with the meal. Because she did stuff in her mind. When she did it, it was a good idea. But she don't think far enough to, ahead to think about the repercussions of things. So that's why I'm really worried about the whole meal situation. So then she meets this. Um, I'm glad to see Charlie and Ralph Angel are really close. They are close to the point that he trusts her with the meal thing. And I'm just really shocked behind that. How I guess she finally, especially with like last season with the whole situation where she took the heat for the shotgun. Because the land just was trying to get him arrested for that. When um, those people were trespassing on his land trying to steal stuff from them. And now he's really trusting her. And I'm happy that he's finally trusting her. And they're actually close now. And that's so good to see. And so when they were leaving the bar... Uh, well, she was leaving the bar. He was still there courting or whatever, getting him some side booty. Um, she meets the uh, Roberto dude. So the question now be, is Roberto legitimate or is he with the Landers? I think Roberto is going to be legitimate. I think maybe this may be a new love interest for Charlie. We'll see. Somebody for her to follow against. Now that Remy is kind of, you know... And I'm I I'm gonna tell y'all it's some things that I ain't liking with this Remy situation. I keep noticing a little something I'm picking up on, but this gonna be in my next review, either for episode three or episode four. I think what they gonna do, and I'm gonna go and say it now, because I think we're gonna start seeing more of it in episode three or, or episode four. Because I feel like what they fixing to try to do is uh have Remy and Nova hook up and I'm gonna tell you why I think Remy and Nova Nova gonna hook up because I felt like the end of last season they started it was like this one situation where they tried to like I don't know it was just like give each other this one kind of look and I, I'm waiting to see if it's gonna play over into this season if they gonna hook up because I feel like in the previews now that they keep trying to make them be too close and I'm just not feeling it at all so, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, uh, Michael wants to go to public school. And they still not want the, the boy to go to public school and be around regular people because they think it's too much and too intense. Mainly Charlie. Davis is cool with it. He don't see a problem with it. If that's what Michael wants to do, he don't think the boy will be hurt. Everything will be okay. So, it's mainly Charlie feeling that way. I don't think nothing is wrong with it either uh, to go to public school. But anyway... She all against it until she see his little mirage of pictures on the wall and really see what he likes and what he's into and what he's envisioning. And he took some great pictures, even of her and, you know, and they were good pictures. So now she's kind of feeling like, you know what, maybe he could, he, he likes being around black people and his own kind. So I think I will let him go to public school. I didn't realize he liked being around his own kind so much and he's really into it. So, um, 
when they were discussing um they were discussing it she finally decided to let him go so yeah so he's gonna get to go to public school um I'm trying to think if I missed anything else. Nova heard when, oh, when Aunt Vi, I guess it's at the end of the show when Aunt Vi was talking about, and I may have mentioned this earlier when we were talking about her pies. Nova heard Aunt Vi's message loud and clear when she was over on the aisle going off, and she was like, um, listen to what she said. I'm 60 years old, and I've spent my whole life waiting and being in the back and um, not living and basically being pushed in the corner or whatever and it's time for that to stop. It's time for me to start living. It's time for me to do what it is I want to do and what I need to do what not and all that stuff that she was saying. I can't remember it word for word but Nova heard that message loud and clear and I think that's what's going that, that message was motivated Nova to go on and take this book signing deal. Anyway, that is all of this review, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And I am book loading these shows, so yeah, it'll probably be right up after this one. Thank you guys for watching.